Welcome to 1234 Media Bio. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button at the end of the video if you really like it. You can also comment down below for any kind of feedback or suggestion regarding this video and yes please do share our video with friends and family. You are like gold, so finally please subscribe to our channel if you wanna do some wonder for our beautiful family, and also click the bell icon so that you may never miss an update from us. Today we will learn about the human excretory system. The excretory system is an organ system, that removes excess, unnecessary, waste materials from the body, in the form of fluid, so as to maintain internal chemical homeostasis and prevent damage to the body. Let's look at the organs of the excretory system. Here's the excretory system. Let's label it. Renal vein, renal artery, kidney, ureter, urinary bladder, and the urethra. Here's the first organ kidney. They are the most important part of the excretory system. They are bean-shaped structures, located on either side of the backbone, and are protected by the ribs and muscles at the back. Each human adult kidney has a length of 10 to 12 centimeters, a width of 5 to 7 centimeters, and weighs around 120 to 170 grams. The outer layer of the kidney is called the capsule. Inner layer of the kidney consists of two zones, the outer zone which is known as cortex, and the inner zone which is known as medulla. Here's the diagram of the kidney. Let's label it. Capsule, cortex, medulla, and the nephron. Among these parts nephron is the most important, and so we will study it in detail. Here's the diagram of the nephron. I will only label the important parts. Glomerulus, Bowman's capsule, together which is called the Malphigian corpuscle, proximal convoluted tubule, Henel's loop, distal convoluted tubule, and the collecting duct. Keep this diagram in mind throughout the video. Let's study about nephron. Nephrons are the functional units of the kidney. Each nephron has two parts, glomerulus, and renal tubule. Glomerulus consists of a bunch of capillaries, formed by afferent arterioles. Blood from glomerulus is carried away by efferent arterioles. The renal tubule starts with a cup-like structure called Bowman's capsule, and this encloses the glomerulus. The Malpigian body consists of glomerulus and Bowman's capsule. Please try to relate all these things with the diagram in the previous slide. If you're unable to, simply re-watch that portion again. Ok now Henel's loop. The Henel's loop is a long U-shaped portion of the tubule, that conducts urine within each nephron of the kidney. Henel's loop has an ascending, and a descending limb. The ascending loop continues as, distal convoluted tubule. The distal convoluted tubules consists of many nephrons, open into the collecting duct. How does kidney work? Well now this is important, so all ears to what I'm saying. I want all your concentration right now. Each of your kidneys is made up of about a million filtering units, called nephrons. Each nephron includes a filter, called the glomerulus, and a tubule. The nephrons work through a two-step process, the glomerulus filters your blood, and the next step is, the tubule returns needed substances to your blood and removes wastes. So let's discuss the first step. The glomerulus filters your blood, as blood flows into each nephron, it enters a cluster of tiny blood vessels called the glomerulus. The thin walls of the glomerulus allow smaller molecules, wastes, and fluid which is mostly water, to pass into the tubule. Larger molecules such as proteins and blood cells, stay in the blood vessel. And the next step is, the tubule returns needed substances to your blood, and removes wastes. A blood vessel runs alongside the tubule. As the filtered fluid moves along the tubule, the blood vessel reabsorbs almost all of the water, along with minerals and nutrients your body needs. The tubule helps remove excess acid from the blood. The remaining fluid and wastes in the tubule become urine. Now time to check out how does blood flow into your kidney. Blood flows into your kidney through the renal artery. 
This large blood vessel branches into smaller and smaller blood vessels, until the blood reaches the nephrons. In the nephron, your blood is filtered by the tiny blood vessels of the glomeruli and then flows out of your kidney through the renal vein. So finally the discussion of kidney is over. Now let's look at the rest of the parts of the excretory system. Ureter. It is a thin muscular tube coming out of each kidney, and extending from the renal pelvis. It carries urine from the kidney to the urinary bladder. The red circle indicates the diagram of the ureter. Urinary bladder. It is a sac-like structure that stores urine until micturition. Micturition is the expulsion of urine from the body. The urine is carried to the bladder through the ureters. Here the red circle indicates the urinary bladder. The last part of the excretory system is urethra. This tube arises from the urinary bladder and helps to expel urine out of the body. In males, it acts as the common route for sperms and urine. Its opening is guarded by a sphincter muscle. The sphincter muscle controls the opening and closing of the urethra, to allow the urine to flow out at the right time. The red circle indicates the urethra. Now let's discuss the working of the excretory system. The process of excretion in human beings requires the following steps. Step 1 is urine formation, which consists of glomerular filtration, tubular reabsorption, and secretion. Step 2 is micturition, which I discussed just now. Let's discuss these steps in detail. Step 1 is urine formation. So the first step in urine formation is glomerular filtration. It is the primary step in urine formation. In this process, the excess fluid and waste products from the kidney are filtered out of the blood, into the urine collection tubules of the kidney, and eliminated out of the body. The amount of filtrate produced by the kidneys every minute is known as, glomerular filtration rate. Tubular reabsorption. It is the absorption of ions and molecules such as sodium ions, glucose, amino acids, water etc. Water involves passive absorption, while glucose and sodium ions are absorbed by an active process. Secretion Potassium ions, hydrogen ions, and ammonia are secreted out, to maintain the equilibrium between the body fluids. This discussion of secretion is not over, and continued in the next slide. So continuing, the functions of the various tubules involved in the process are Glomerulus filters the blood Next, proximal convoluted tubules reabsorb ions, water, and nutrients, removes toxins, and maintains the pH of the filtrate Next, descending loop of henle allows water to pass from the filtrate into the interstitial fluid through aquaporins Next. Ascending loop of henle reabsorbs sodium and chloride ions from the filtrate into the interstitial fluid. Next, distal tubule reabsorbs and secretes selective ions and maintains the pH of the blood. And finally, collecting duct, solutes, and water is reabsorbed from the filtrate by the collecting duct. Step 2 in the process of excretion in human beings is, micturition. The urinary bladder is stretched and gets filled with urine formed in the nephrons. Next, the receptors present on the walls of the urinary bladder send signals to the central nervous system. Next, the CNS then relaxes the sphincter muscles of the urethra. And finally, the urethra then releases the urine out of the body. Finally in this video, we will look at the key points to note. The human excretory system includes certain organs, that eliminate the wastes such as salts, carbon dioxide, urea, uric acid and water produced by the body during homeostasis. The important human excretory organs are, kidneys, ureter, urethra, and the urinary bladder. The human bladder can hold up to 400 milliliter urine. Well this is interesting isn't it? The steps included in the elimination of wastes are, glomerular filtration, reabsorption, and secretion. These processes remove only excess water and waste from the body. Continuing The important functions performed by the excretory system include, elimination of wastes, eliminate waste by-products excreted by the cells, 
prevent the accumulation of harmful chemicals in the body, and maintain a balanced chemical concentration in the body. The process of excretion helps to remove the waste products from the body. If these are allowed to accumulate, they cause poisoning in the body that slows down the other important processes in the body. The different types of wastes eliminated by the living organisms include, ammonia, urea, and uric acid. The organisms are classified as ammonotelic, ureatelic, and uricotelic, based on the type of nitrogenous waste eliminated by the body. Well this is something different. Continuing. Other than the excretory system, the other organs which removes unnecessary products from the body are, lungs, large intestine, and skin. Lungs removes carbon dioxide, the sweat glands in the skin removes water, salt, and other materials, finally, the large intestine removes undigested food in the form of feces. Under certain circumstances such as poor blood flow to the kidneys, infections, injuries, etc. the kidneys fail to perform their functions. In such situations, artificial kidneys are used for blood filtration and this process is called, dialysis. This is used to treat people suffering from kidney disorders. Finally, if you want to donate one of you kidney to help others, you can as long as you're perfectly healthy, because a perfectly healthy person can survive with just one of the kidneys. So that's it. Thanks a million for watching this video, and doing a wonder for our beautiful family. I will again meet you in the next video. Till then, just subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to never miss the upcoming videos from 1234 Media Bio.